Hey, Elise Pickett here with The Urban Harvest, and today I'm going to give you a few tips on how to water your garden properly. I'm a huge proponent for more, uh, more water less frequently. So um, giving things a nice deep soak can make the world of difference. I'm gonna show you in this bed real quick here. Uh, we just did a pretty solid watering um, in the morning time. Um, we watered each bed probably three to five minutes at least, just this one bed, just running back and forth over the bed and the bed looks nice and moist on the top if you were to feel the soil it looks wet it looks saturated um, but if you to actually dig down into this bed a little bit you'll see just how shallow that watering really was if you have a plant that's got a root base that's a foot or so deep and all that's getting moist is this top inch of soil obviously the plant isn't getting most of that water so if you were to water longer deeper um, probably a 10 to 15 minute soak, that's when your plants are actually going to get the water that they need down to the root system. The other thing to consider is if you don't water frequently enough, your beds will actually kind of create this shell. So instead of the water soaking deep down into the bed, it kind of runs off in sheets. So if you were to think about pavement versus grass um, during a rainstorm, right? So if we get all this heavy rain, it hits the sidewalk and immediately just rushes off the sides um, because it's not a porous absorbent surface. Um, if the grass gets a nice long deep watering, it actually can soak down through it. So if we're not watering the beds um, nice and deep so that all of the soil is getting wet, you'll have that shell effect where everything just kind of runs off to the sides and doesn't get into the soil. If you were to try to take a dry sponge and wipe the counter, it's not as absorbent as if you had a moist sponge that's been wrung out. So basically what we're doing is creating a moist sponge. So if you water the beds a little bit and then go to the next bed, water that bed, and then come back to that first bed, water it a little bit more, go through it maybe one more time even, that's allowing the water to actually take time and soak down into the soil as opposed to just running off the sides. Keeping your garden well watered in the heat where we haven't been getting our normal thunderstorms can be quite the feat. I totally get it. Hopefully these tips will help you stay on top of your watering a little bit easier and quicker. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button while you're there so that you're alerted every time a new video comes out. And stay cool watering.